friendships. How difficult can friendships be sometimes? Do you have any of those opinionated friends that really get quite feisty and they just want to tell you what you need to do and how you need to do it? And you're sitting there and it's like, mm, have you actually heard anything that I've just shared with you? Do you experience that? Or are you that friend that is very much likes to tell your friends how to live their life and how to be. Today is all about friendships and more importantly unconditional friendships. Hello I'm Katarina Smiley and welcome to my channel. It's great to have you here. If this is your first time welcome and if you're returning good to see you again. So I wanted to really hop on about this topic because not only when I speak about this in regards to unconditional friendships, it's not just with friends, it's also to be that in your relationship. So really, so often part of friendship, we speak about unconditional. And are you that? What does it actually mean to be an unconditional friend? The key word is this respect how much do you respect your friend in their decisions that they make for their life do you get frustrated with your friend and do you keep going i've told you that and i told you that and i told you that it's so important that regarding friendships that we really do take a, a moment to stop and come to the realisation that all we need to do is to be there to love them, to care for them and to respect them. And often when we give our opinions or we offer advice, we're offering advice from the perspective of if it was us. Oh, if that was happening to me, this is what I would do. Oh, you should do this, you should do that. Often the, the advice or the suggestions that we're giving is what we would actually do because we like the idea of that. We're not, some of you out there, and I'm not saying all, but predominantly we often give advice or offer a perspective because we put ourselves in the situation, oh yeah, I'd like to do that and I'd like to do that and I feel that that's good for them. We forget to respect that they are not us. We put ourselves in the situation. Respect comes in so many different forms and I ask people, do you respect your partner? Do you respect your friend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because often we look at it from one dimension and we hear the word respect, we go, yeah, we treat them kindly. But respect comes in all different forms. It's like, do you speak to them respectfully? Do you respect their opinion? Do you respect their decisions? Do you respect what everything that they're doing in their life? Yeah, we are there to guide. Now you might be saying, Kat, I have a friend that asks, asks, asks opinions, advice. You give them all of that and it goes through to the wicket keeper. They don't hear, right? They're not listening. So then I'm going to suggest to you that this is now, the, the ball is in now in your court. It's up to you how you handle that. But you know what? I'm no longer saying nothing. So when those conversations arise, don't give opinions. Don't give advice. Or you can be truthful and sit and say, you know what? I feel like I have offered advice before. I feel like I have offered guidance and support and I feel that it's just it, nothing has changed. I hope you listen to the words that I've used with those three things because some of you might be saying I've already said that. I want you to really be aware did you say the words that I said verbatim and the reason why I'm being very particular is this. I feel means I've made it about me, I'm sharing my feelings within the situation that's happened. I am not saying to my friend, you didn't listen to me when I said this. You didn't listen to me when I offered advice. You didn't listen to me when I gave you my perspective. I'm attacking because I've gone, you didn't. When I shared it was, I feel. 
And so now I've made them aware of how I feel. I'm not making anyone attack. So this is where it's up to you how you handle it. It's still being an unconditional friend. And now the beauty is that your truth has come to the table and you've said, this is what I feel. And you know, this is maybe your journey and throw it back at them. And I say that kindly. It's what I do. It's like, you know what, I respect that this is your journey and it's something that, you, you know, you need to find your way through. If you would like, I'm here to support you no matter what, whatever your decision is. If you'd like some feedback, I'm more than happy to provide that, right? Because they may be wanting your feedback on their your thoughts on certain things. And I love feedback. You know that I love feedback. I mentioned it in other videos. But an unconditional friend is taking your perspective, your beliefs, your morals and holding them. Because it's certain different behaviours I don't believe there is a person, and I could be wrong and that's okay. My perspective is I don't believe that there's a person that we're going to have in our life where we absolutely align 100% in every area, meaning our morals, our values, everything like that. And it's about coming and asking self, am I able to respect that about that person? I don't need to understand it. People say, oh, I've got to understand it. And I just said, take out the hard work. To understand something means work. I don't want to do work. Friendship shouldn't be work. It should just be this beautiful flow. That's my perspective. So rather than that, I just, I just all I always say to self is, I will respect that about that person. Right? Some people don't get straight back to me. I don't have an expectation of that. I respect that that's about them. I hope people respect that about me. I always say, I'm not the best friend. I am shocking at certain behaviors. I love, I, I do endeavor to unconditionally support and maybe I lack in that too, more than likely. But unconditional friendship is a beautiful gift that you can give anyone. Make them feel safe that they can share whatever they're doing in their life without you placing judgment. There is enough judgment in this world from the external world, social media, wherever you turn. We all need that safe haven. We all need, and I'm going to say need, we need that one friend. That one person, at least one person in our life that we can share absolutely anything with and know and feel in our heart of hearts that there'll be no judgment, there'll be no, no perception. It'll just be unconditional and total respect from that person. And I hope that one of the people is your partner if you're in a relationship. And if you're not in a relationship, that you have at least that one person. And the friend can be a family member. I'm not saying it has to just be a friend. I call friendship, it's relationships, right? So I hope that each and every one of you watching this has got one person in their life where they feel they can absolutely share anything with and it will be unconditionally respected. Because that's missing a lot in this world. And I get emotional when I speak about this because I meet so many people that don't have that. They feel so judged that they don't fit in. And we all need that. We need that as part of our human survival is to feel that there is one person out there that will hear whatever it is we got to share and there's no judgment. It's unconditional. It's unconditional love, unconditional friendship, unconditional support. And believe me, I am that person for some people. And I feel very blessed and honored to be that. So I hope that you choose to be an unconditional friend for someone 
because it's very rewarding to know that there is someone that will entrust in you their deepest, darkest secrets and know that there's no judgment from that. That you love them and you care for them unconditionally. That's a beautiful gift that you can give to anyone. And that comes from here. And that's what matters. So I hope that you gain something little from today. Just something little. And I hope that you really do endeavour to become an unconditional friend. Because it's a beautiful gift that you can give some the people that you love. Yeah. Take you out of it because it's not about you. I want to thank you for spending your time with me as I respect your time is valuable. If you got value out of today's video, I'd be so grateful if you'd like. Subscribe to my channel. Also click on the notifications. Well, so you'll be notified when I upload tomorrow's message. Remember you matter. You matter. And allow yourself to let someone else know that they matter. Yeah? You are your most valuable asset. So invest in you. I want to thank you for spending your time with me. Have a great day.